that Zerg now can now producing a lot of roaches. And still in hatchery. I just I just don't understand this. He's at 900 minerals, 800 gas. One of the biggest uh, early player mistakes is not spending your minerals, not spending your gas well enough. I mean, if you if you're a high level player, you can't have enough money. You just can't. Unless you're maxed out, you're always wanting more money, more money. You're never going to be above you know 400 and 500. So a little bit of more work. And again, those hatcheries being hotkeyed would help with that. Nice roach push though. I like this taking down that rax. And this roach, these roaches aren't even close to speed. Still no lair. Busting down that uh, gateway, rather. And the Protoss is going to move out to confront this with some Stalkers, Zealots, and Sentries. Going to be a little bit of standoff going on here. And the Toss taking his expansion up top. Nothing on the uh, tower yet. There we go. There's that probe. So he will see that. He's going to move his forces up. The problem is he needs to wall this off again or do something. Otherwise, those Zerglings or Roaches are going to come in here. Again, I haven't watched this game yet, so I'm not too sure what's going to happen. Toss player needs to line his forces up along the edges and get some shots off. That'll probably run the Zerg back a little bit, but the Zerg is going to finish this off. Still no lair. I don't know what the heck this guy is doing. Toss could get like three Immortals. That's it. Like three Immortals with all these gateways. What's he got for production? He's got a lot of drones or probes. That's good. So he's doing well in that regard, but two base Zerg, three base Zerg, no lair, no evolution chambers. It's, it's just kind of an all-in, like, push or something. He's just like, I have a roach worn. I'm going to make roaches and have fun. That's it. Zergling's up at the high yield. Observer just kind of sitting over the expansion. 75 energy on that queen. No creep tumors going down. Could be spreading the creep across the entire map. Zergling's getting a little out of position there at the high yield no reaction from them to move them out 51 roaches holy cow or 51 units rather so a lot of units running in that front door while those toss units are ca caught out of position so nice little maneuver by the zerg kind of attacking on a double front or attacking while the toss player was distracted force fields not really cutting anything in half you want to draw a line down the middle right there cut all those roaches in half with those force fields guardian shields are a Okay against Roaches, not the greatest, but they are helping out a little bit, and he does have a lot of energy, look at that, look at that, 200, 100, we could lay down some more force wheels a little better there, it's going to impede the Roach movement some more, Stalker's again pretty good against Roaches, but it's just not going to be enough, the player is continuing to macro, so now he's doing a good job of macroing, but you know what he's doing, he is clicking over here, attacking, now he has to click over, select the hatchery, press S, R, 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 Select S R R R and click over here, and that's going to take a long time. And I think he could have macroed this battle a lot better. So let that be a lesson to hotkey your units. Nice expansion here, which I have a feeling he transferred to. Yeah, he transferred to that expansion. So this one isn't really running at all. Still off one gas. Now he's getting a layer. And again, once you get a layer, instantly get roach speed. If you're training even like five roaches, get roach speed. Spire is coming for some reason um, I'm not sure why I'd, I'd rather see a hydrogen at this point just because the toss already has kind of a mixture of sentries and stalkers so have a purpose for what you get you know what you have an idea when you go into the game just be like okay I'm gonna get zerglings then roaches and at what point am I gonna go lair you know then after I get lair I'm gonna get a hydrogen or a spire I don't really know what this guy is doing. He is getting a spire, which isn't a counter for anything. It gives you some mobile mutalisks, but he I, I believe he did see the opponent's base. Yeah, he saw all those gateways, which are great for against uh, mutalisks, obviously, because gateway units are really the only counter that Toss has for mutas in the early game, uh, aside from Stargates, which uh, is pretty rare to see against mutas, and only one robotics facility. So. Hydras would excel in this situation. He does have a robotic space, so he can pump out some Colossi, but with all these roaches and uh, Zerglings, there's the speed, so it's about time we see that. Does he have his rally point set for the opponent base? Yeah, he's got a nice rally point just outside the opponent's base, and you can tell he's just going to walk over the Protoss at this point. The Toss doesn't have too much to defend with. 
Actually, he's got a pretty good army, but uh, he's losing so much production. He's coming in a little bit late. Gonna get a bit funneled here, so not the greatest positioning for his zealots. If you look inside, he is getting them wiped out. This is where it'd be nice to have separate control groups. And you can see here, he's got two hotkeys, Nexus and Observer. No hotkeys on the gateways, no hotkeys on the stalkers and zealots separately, or any on the sentries. He needs to cut these guys in half with his force fields, but instead he puts up a guardian shield, wasted energy on this entry, still 64 energy. And it's going to be GG here in a second. You can just tell GG from J Star. So um, I guess some keys to this game is spend your money, hotkey your hatcheries. On two base, as Zerg, get your evolution chambers a little bit faster, and just in general, have a plan going into the game.